Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Carl's Tech Shed. Well this is a follow-up video on the supercomputer teardown that I did a few weeks ago. As you can see they've completely been dismantled now um, so I'll give you a walkthrough of some of the material that we've recovered from them. This is the pile of Numalink cables. As you can imagine there's a lot of copper in these and there's about 50 kilos there. These are the back planes which unfortunately I didn't get to show you in the first video because they were still in the back of the chassis. But as you can see, they're very heavily gold plated. There's a lot of gold not only on the top and on the underside, but also where the board has been cut out. Uh, again, this is an incredibly thick board, probably about 30 layers there. And you've got lots of these uh, press fit Amphenol connectors on there as well. So no doubt that would have been extremely expensive when that was first manufactured. In this box, we have the motherboards from the nodes. We've taken out the memory, the processors, and we've taken off the plastic and steel surround from the outside. So that's now ready to be refined for the gold and other metals. Over here we have a box of the small power boards from the processors. We've taken off the aluminium backplate and cut off all the cables as well, because they'll be recycled separately. In these two boxes here we've got all of the heat sinks from the processors and the ASICs. These are actually solid copper, as I explained in the last video. Um, these are uh, nickel-plated copper, so although they, they don't look like um, copper, they've got a silvery finish, they are actually solid copper and they're incredibly weighty. Just in these two boxes here, um, there's just over 110 kilograms of copper. And last but certainly not least, uh, this is a box of the processors. We've taken off all the um, processor power modules, as you can see. Um, these are just ready to be refined now and uh, I suppose it's, it's almost scary to think that just sitting in that box there when they were new those processors would have cost over a quarter of a million pounds and um, it's just sitting in a box on the floor of my warehouse. This tub here contains the lower grade PCBs. Uh, these are mainly the power back planes and there's also a board from the Numalink hub in there as well. Um, these are separate because these actually go down as lower grade with our refiner because there's less gold in them to recover so we get slightly less for these. Over here we have a pile of other boards. These are mostly Numalink connector boards and uh, Numalink hub boards. The reason these are kept separately, once again, is because they go down as a different grade with our refiner, because all different boards have different, um, different quantities of gold and other precious metals. And so if a board has more gold or more precious metals, we get slightly more for it. And unfortunately, in this case, with these, they only have a very small quantity of gold, so um, we get slightly less for these. But it's always best to keep them separate so that we get a fair price for everything we send to, to the refinery.